intermittent fasting is a really great tool to tap into fat burning and achieve a weight loss goal, but you have to be doing it the right way. Today I'm sharing 10 super easy tips on how you can lose belly fat with intermittent fasting in today's video. All right guys, if you're new, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I teach you how to achieve your weight loss and wellness goals through super simple nutrition strategies, just like with this video. So let's jump straight into tip number one. And the first tip is to set a good eating window with the key point here really being that it's not too late in the evening. Now, of course, if you work night shifts, then you don't really have control control over this, but if you have a fair amount of flexibility with your schedule, it's really important that you aren't eating too late in the evening because most people tend to be a little bit more insulin resistant in the evening, which means that your body will need to pump out more insulin in response to your food the later that you're eating. And insulin is that fat storing hormone. So especially if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal with intermittent fasting, setting your window a little bit earlier in the day is really important. Now this doesn't mean that you have to be stopping eating by like lunchtime, but ideally give one to two hours before you're actually going to bed for when your eating window will stop. So for myself personally, my eating window tends to be around 10 to six or 11 to seven, somewhere in that range, which segues really nicely into the second tip. And that's to set at least one hour of fasting before you go to bed. When you sleep, digestion is really slowed down. So if you're eating right before bed, your food is just going to kind of sit there. And if you tend to get bloated, then this is a really big problem because it allows more time for bacteria to ferment and cause you to feel more bloated the next morning too. So when setting your schedule, make sure it's not too late in the evening and that you're allowing for at least an hour before bed for digestion. If you can get two hours, great. If you can't get any fasting before bed, it's a really good idea to at least go for a 10 or 15 minute walk right after your meal, which helps to stimulate digestion too. Okay, tip number three, aim for about 12 to 18 hours of fasting. I know some people really like the 20 or 22 hours of fasting with the one meal a day approach, but I found it's really difficult to get enough protein for those body composition and weight loss goals that you're looking for in just that one meal. And personally with the AM peeps who follow my complete intermittent fasting bundle protocol, I found that a two or three meal structure works best. That way you can split up the protein between those two to three meals and get enough for your body's needs to achieve your weight loss goals. And if you're having a 12 or an 18 hour fast, this allows for time for those two to three meals. Okay. Number four, allow for seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Sleep is one of the biggest missing components when it comes to achieving a weight loss goal, especially if reducing belly fat is something that you're really concerned with because poor sleep is strongly tied to increased stress hormone levels the next day, also increased hunger hormone ghrelin the next day too, and increased cortisol levels is strongly tied to increased weight gain around the belly. So when creating your intermittent fasting schedule, this should really actually be your priority, making sure that you allow for your schedule to have seven to eight hours of sleep per night. That way you can get the deep restful sleep that you need in order to prevent those really big spikes in cortisol and hunger hormone the next day. Okay, number five, don't drink alcohol while fasting. I know it's a liquid, so it seems like you should be able to have it, but not only will this break your fast, it'll also mess with your sleep too. And as we've seen, sleep is king or queen for achieving a weight loss goal. So if you are going to be having alcohol, just make sure it is during your eating window. That way it's not too close to bed and it's not going to break your fast, which I actually have a ton of videos that I come out with every Tuesday and Thursday on intermittent fasting, how to properly use it to achieve your weight loss goals. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you click the button down below to get all of the tips and strategies to help you achieve your goals. Okay, number six, don't drink energy drinks. This is another one that a lot of people assume you can have because it is a drink or a liquid, but not only will it break your fast because it is loaded with sugar, but sugar sweetened drinks are also one of the leading causes of obesity with Americans. And it's because it causes such a huge spike in our storing hormone insulin. So if you do need a little boost of caffeine and you want it during your fasted period, opt for either unsweetened tea or coffee or keto tea or keto coffee, which I have a really great recipe that you can check out right here. Okay, number seven, eat enough. Another huge mistake I see with a lot of people trying to achieve a weight loss goal with intermittent fasting is that they aren't eating enough during their eating window. Going from a fasted state and then not eating anything can trigger the brain into thinking that there's just not enough food available in the environment. And this can just lead to those same issues that calorie restriction in general has. So when breaking a fast in order to tell your brain that there is enough food in the environment while still working toward your weight loss goals, it's really important that you get protein, fat, and fiber at your meal. Protein and fat are really key for turning on the satiety hormones and telling your body that you have the energy you need and fiber also also acts on the stretch mechanism in your stomach to tell your brain that you're full and satisfied. Okay, number eight, 
have apple cider vinegar. It's a really great tool to help stabilize blood glucose levels when you go from a fasted to a fed state. Because when there are those really big spikes and falls in blood glucose, that's when you also get a really big spike in the storing hormone insulin. So apple cider vinegar has been found to help reduce those fluctuations or help balance out those fluctuations. I personally aim for about one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar that's diluted in roughly eight ounces of water before I have my first meal. Okay, number nine, walk during your fasted state. And if you can get outside for your walk, it also helps to expose your body to something called negative ions, which has been found to help decrease the stress hormone cortisol. And higher amounts of cortisol is directly tied to increased weight gain around the belly. So I like to personally aim for anywhere between eight to 10,000 steps a day, but really it's hard to overdo walking. So if you can get out walking as much as possible, the more usually the better, unless you have an injury, then obviously be cautious of that. <laughs> okay, number 10, limit caffeine to no later than 2 p.m. Caffeine can really disturb your sleep and it can take multiple hours for your body to fully get it out of your system. So in order to make sure you get that deep high quality sleep so that you can prevent hunger the next day, it's really important to make sure that you aren't having caffeine after 2 p.m. I personally am actually a little bit more sensitive to caffeine, so I make sure to not have it past 12 p.m. That way it's not going to disrupt my sleep, which is absolutely crucial to achieving a long lasting weight loss goal. Okay, so if you're wondering how you can actually use apple cider vinegar with intermittent fasting to achieve your weight loss goal, I highly recommend that you check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.